Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to construct an angle bisector using a compass and a straight edge. In this case, we're going to use ruler. Before we go over the steps on how to construct an angle bisector, we remember that an angle bisector is a line, array, a line segment that divides an angle into two equal congruent angles. Now let's get into the steps in constructing an angle bisector. Before we go over the steps on how to construct an angle bisector, let's go over the parts of an angle. We remember that the point of intersection between these two rays that we have here that creates an angle is called the vertex. And this ray that we have here, these two rays here are called the arms of the angle. We're going to use these terms as we go along with the three steps in constructing an angle bisector. Now let's go over the first step. The first step states that we're supposed to put the sharp end of the compass on the vertex and make an arc on one of the arms of the angle and at the same time on the other arm of the angle. So we have here the sharp edge of this or sharp end of the compass. So I'm going to put that on the vertex and then I am going to create an arc which is going to be on both arms. So I will create one arc on the, um, the first arm. And then again, I'm going to repeat that on the other um, arm as well. So I've created the um, two arcs. Now I'm ready to move on to the second step. The second step states that we're supposed to put the sharp end of the compass on the arc that we created from the first step and mark an arc within the two arms. Do the same thing on the other arm and make sure that the two arcs intersect. So what I'm going to do is I will move from here. I've created those two arcs. I will move this compass to the arcs that I've created from step one. And then I will have to create another arc. And I have to make sure that the arc should be inside or within the two arms. So I can create this um, arc right here. And I will have to repeat that same step on the other arc here. So I will create another arc and I have to make sure that these two arcs that I've created within these two arms are intersecting. Now we're ready to move on to the third step. The third step states that we're supposed to draw a line from the vertex, which is located right here, all the way to the point of intersection of the two arcs. So these two arcs intersect at this point so that we can go ahead and create a line again that is coming from the point of intersection all the way to the um, vertex. So I can go ahead and create, I can have a line segment like that or I can have a ray. I can go ahead and extend it further. That's a line. And so this is our angle bisector. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this um, line right here as our angle bisector. Since this is our angle bisector, this means that these two angles right here, the first um, angle that we have, the first half of the angle and the second half of the angle are congruent because again, it was bisected. So the whole angle was cut into two equal pieces. Please remember that the steps that we did, all the three steps that we did on this angle still works if the given angle is a right angle. And again, the three steps also work even if the angle is an obtuse angle. And that is how we construct an angle bisector using a compass and a straight edge or ruler. That's it. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!